Okay, now you can hear me. So basically, we just have a few um, dragons here that we're working with um, from Bahamas Designs. Um, I was just saying that Final Fantasy VIII is a cool concept. Bahamut Sin and, and Final Fantasy IV are some cool concepts to look through. Final Fantasy VIII is really cool. We're going to hold on to that one if we do go a dragon route. If not, then let's look at Final Fantasy IX. Final Fantasy IX is really similar to Final Fantasy VIII. Final Fantasy VIII is more blue with more armor. Final Fantasy VIII is more like a dragon. And he has a really cool... So this one's cool because he has this sharp thing on the back of his head and he has no... His horns are a little more... Something like... He's doing something like this. Final Fantasy 9 is doing something like this. Got three horn concept going on, right? That's pretty cool. Um, Final Fantasy 8 and 9 both have these, these claw things. It's like fingers almost coming down. So I'm just gonna just pile everything onto this one um, scale drawing that we got going on so far. Um, okay, so we got throwing a little bit of into the mixing pot here. Final Fantasy X Bahamut has some really cool stuff. It's like a, a dragon but with feathers. His wings are like feathers. So let's go over here and let's actually draw some of that. Um, so his wings are doing something like this. doing something like that there like actual feathers now that is pretty cool um, like a bird or something So there's some regular dragon wings, and then here are some like bird dragon wings here. Um, I don't know, we might just throw it all together. We might just do one amalgamated drawing just to keep it all kind of uniform there. Um, now here's another Bahamut drawing that's kind of neat. It's got like a lizard body and a short neck. This Bahamut usually has a very long neck like this. Um, it tapers off. Let me do that a little bit better. It's usually a long neck. And it's tapered off as it goes towards the, the snout, the head. But this Bahamut in particular, oh, and then you know, you have your horns and all this kind of stuff. And his eyes and all that. And his snout. Or whatever. That's that's our typical Bahamut. But this one, it's like the dragon, it's like his head.
and then there's the body. It's like they're not really putting so much emphasis, emphasis on the dragon look. Which I'm like, I don't know if I really care for that so much, technically. Um, sorry, I gotta turn my phone down. I'm not sure I really care for that too much. Um, they even have some concept drawings here that kind of help show some of that a little bit. But what we're, and then there's some Final Fantasy 12 Bahamut. It looks more like a Digimon or something. I might, I might hold on to that one because it's kind of cool. Final Fantasy Type Zero Bahamut is doing something really neat with his headdress. So it's got the dragon head and then it's going around. It's doing something like this. And then it's like doing another headdress. It's doing something like that. It's like, whoa, dude. It's like, what is that even about? Um, I don't like his body type, but I love the headdress, so let's go to the next one. And this is where we get to Bahamut from Final Fantasy XV, it's more like a dragoon, whereas I like the dragoon look, but I don't think it's going to serve as bah a classic Bahamut look, and his wings are made out of swords and blades and stuff. Um, so what we'll, we'll probably... We'll get rid of the picture with that and we'll hold on to like a blade wing thing. Alright, so I think the consensus here is that we're probably going to do something on like either Bahamut Sin or Bahamut uh, Final Fantasy IX with a combination of the bird wings here. Alright, so we can go ahead and just get rid of all this. Um, I'm kind of liking that. I'm gonna put the the bird feathers, the feather wings with this. Uh, not really seeing. Let's, let's edit our onion skin because it's being too, um, it's doing too much for me. Let's put it down to one onion frame. So we got ones with the dragon wings and one with the bird wings. You know, let's do our own spin on it. I think our Bahamut is going to have... Um, scene 1 with the... I mean, let's look at the history of Bahamut. What is what's he even... What is he... I think it's like Hindu mythology or something. Some more images of Bahamut here. I think we definitely need to do something creative with the wings. Some really cool stuff I want to try. Maybe something like
Maybe do some like blades coming off. Nah, I'm not liking that too much. Oh, not something over. Um, let's see about doing something maybe like. Trying to get this be more hooked, kind of like that a little bit. Um, maybe even base it off of a. Tell you what, since there are three Bahamuts in the actual Final Fantasy VII series, let's do three different Bahamuts. I think that would be the best way to kind of help um, uh, keep it a little simple for us here. So for this one, like this where he has like a something like that no no we'll do that we'll save that for Bahamut Neo we'll keep it simple for this Bahamut and we'll actually just play with some of the uh, the details afterwards But what we will do for the wings since we're not going to make it as extravagant for this one we will make the wings a little more like hands in Excuse me. Yeah, I think I like something a little more. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good for uh, starting out because once we start getting to the draft, it's going to change big time. So we'll. Hold on to this one. All right, we're just gonna shrink it down to so get it in place a little bit. actually going to do, I already know, I'm looking at this, I already know I'm going to change the uh, the headdress, I'm going to change it up a little bit, the head, I like more of this kind of hook snout behind it we have and 
there and I'm gonna do something I wanna do something with his arms a little more like like he's like ah, he's like coming back like this maybe so with his arms probably held back a little bit Or something similar over on this side. And then his legs are probably going to come back a little. First off, they're going to be a lot smaller than that. like the body is just not long enough. It's definitely not long enough. Remember this is still the scale drawing so... Ah, I'm not liking how this is turning out now. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta fix this. Something. That's good enough to start off with. That's why most of the time I don't I don't really do the scale drawing with uh, like a splinter video or something like that because I don't feel like it's really necessary to see all of that um, as it's happening in real time. But uh, but um, yeah, like I said, I think that's enough. Now let's do our first kind of uh still not the first draft yet but it's gonna be like a preemptive drawing basically so this is gonna be a real a real dragon dragon light behind it um so gotta make sure we get like that. And it doesn't have to fit the proportions exactly, but it's just got to.
I don't know if like that. We're definitely gonna come back to the to the bottom here to fix on this the hips. But um for right now let's just make sure we get I'm not actually using the, uh, the scale drawing right now, I'm just kind of drawing how I'm thinking that this is going to play out for the arms. See, I'm not liking the way the arms are just sitting there like, like a robot. Like, here is my arm, you know. Um, do something kind of creative and cool. Something like that. Say we had to come back down here and definitely get these proportions right. And you know, already what I'm seeing here, it looks too stiff. It's definitely something really stiff with this right here. Um, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. see that going around on his belly a little bit. Let's kind of build that up a little bit there, a little bit. that right there, just kind of touching up. Uh, 
Oh, I need to change the video. Something like that. Get the claws kind of really. I'm looking at some. I'm kind of looking at some drawings that I want to base it off of, but I'm not really sticking to it that deeply. I want to kind of have his legs hang a little bit. Legs might be a little, just a little bit large. Um, I do want them big, just to show that they're powerful and whatnot. But um, this leg definitely needs to come down just a little bit like that, and definitely want to kind of widen it out. Maybe, well, we want to probably turn this down a little bit to kind of make it seem like he's dangling. The legs are dangling, but maybe the feet can kind of widen out a little bit if you turn and then this one and kind of do the same probably make sure you make it a little smaller turn it a little bit and I don't want to turn it too much you still want it to seem like it's dangling I'm gonna put it almost I want to try to give it the same height a little bit there see I'm totally off the, the scale drawing here now because the scale drawing helps you to helps me to see where it's going. Then when we get to the first draft, excuse me, when we get to the first drawing, um, um, this is still not even the first draft drawing. But when we get to this first part of this drawing, we definitely want to start thinking about, okay, what angles are these going at? What proportions are these sitting at? Stuff like that. Um, and actually, I'm not liking the face, the head, the way that's sitting either. What we're probably going to do, I'm probably going to use more of a reference for this part here. Something like that there. Something like that. enough detail in this we won't actually even need to uh, to do another rough draft drawing but 
just as is right now, we're definitely going to. that there's definitely some curvature going on here. And let me see a little bit more like what the chest looks like on this here. So my eyes a little itchy. This is where I start getting a little more creative with the design of Bahamut and um, some of the things going on on his uh, on his person a little bit. And you know, this is the part where he's, he's he has more like scales and, and all this kind of stuff. I kind of want to put that, but I kind of don't. Um, this is where I start fighting with myself when it comes to um, when it comes to the um, Bahamut and Bahamut Neo and Bahamut Zero and all this kind of all the versions of Bahamut. Um, this is where I might cut off the video and start the next clip.